We're at the Croy in Seattle. We're here with Timothy Ray Brown, who's the, the poster child of, of The Cure. Uh, and before we go into too much, much with mm -hmm. you, we want to make sure that people understand this is not something that can be replicated easily. Right. It is a very serious process, mm -hmm. and it was done only because you had another disease. Right. Yeah, so which was, exp explain that which briefly. Was, which was a, an acute um, leukemia. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, so I had to get the transplant. Um, uh, I had ta gone to um, uh, chemo treatment and uh, I, I was in remission for a short time, but then it failed. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so it became, um, a stem cell transplant became necessary. Mm -hmm. Bone marrow stem cell transplant. And, and this process is very near death. It's, it's yeah. a very yes. serious, I mean, you're consented. I know we talked about that yeah. in the cure meeting yes. before the conference. I did but it, but you had to do a consent because it's yes. a really yeah. serious. Definitely. Well, everybody has to do a consent. Right. But it was they had to let you know how serious this yeah. was. But your choices weren't many. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was either do it or, or die. Or die yeah. anyway yeah. eventually. So, so yeah, I chose to do it. But this is not where everybody else is. No. They're they're right. in a choice of do they want to get rid of the virus or do they want to live on pills? Yeah. And I, I think most right. of us would say the pills are just the fine. Pills Thank are fine. you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so the idea is that uh, obviously if we can find a way to use any part of what was learned in your mm -hmm. experience uh, to relate that into a, a scientific cure in a different way, yeah. that would make sense. Yes. But, but I think some of the things that we are uh, we're experiencing here today is that mm -hmm. it's just a little beyond your 12th and a rebirth, yeah. if yeah, you were, exactly. as it were. Yeah. And we had that celebration over at the library. Tell yes. me how you feel about that um, experience. The, the celebration was wonderful. Um, I had in the back of my mind that this uh, current news was coming out because I, um, mm -hmm. it was embargoed. It was supposed to be embargoed until today um, uh, from a speech that's going to happen like in about an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, unfortunately, um, the news was, was released early, um, and. Uh, um, so everybody picked up on it, and uh, and so um, the New York Times had planned to run this story after it was announced, but they ran it early. They ran it yesterday, um, and mm -hmm. uh, I suddenly started getting lots of calls to do interviews. As one would one would imagine. Yes. Yeah. How does it feel to be number one when there's a number two? Um, and, and but we're not we're not there yet. We're right. talking about this other mm -hmm. situation is looking okay. It's yeah. in remission. Yeah, which is where you were at an earlier point. Right. In your, yeah. Your um, I think it's been six months since he quit taking his his meds, and mm -hmm. um, I actually quit taking on taking meds on the day of my transplant. Um, mm -hmm. It was my choice to do that, uh, and um, I think I'm glad I did because uh, um, nobody would have known whether I was cured or not, and until mm -hmm. they wouldn't have known until much later. Right, but this is a remission situation right. at this point. Until yeah. we say, okay, we really can't find anything and there's exactly. a long period of time that passes and you know, we're expecting that you're cured because yeah. it's been 12 years. Right, sure. So yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I, I do see an oncologist once a year and basically mm -hmm. I, he said, yeah, everything looks fine. So yeah, come you know, back in a year. So. Well, you know what's amazing is that, and I know there's a, uh, we talked about this with one of our other uh, crew mm -hmm. and uh, the issue of how do you feel being thrust into this position of, of prominence and uh, and uh, maybe uh, some, you, you might want to just go on with your life and live like a, every other person, but uh, but you, like you're now thrust into it yet again because you're number one of number two, possibly number yeah. two. How do you feel about that? Um, I basically I made the decision to come out um, to make my face avail face and name available so people could contact me without calling me the Berlin patient all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of got sick of that that uh, that or that uh, name. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's okay if it's used every once in a while, but I I don't want to always be. Um, you like to, to get shed yeah, that yeah. that, that hey, branding. Patient, come here. <laughs> shed that branding. Right, yeah. You are a real person. Yes, you have a real name exactly. and so forth. Yeah. And oh, and the reason why that why they called me the Berlin patient is that scientists um, had heard about a case where um, somebody may have been cured of HIV. Um, it was at least in a long term remission from HIV, and they had to have a way to refer to that case. And mm -hmm. so. Um, since my treatment was in Berlin, they called me the Berlin patient. And, mm -hmm. and in the case of uh, the, the, this new patient, um, he, his transplant was done in London, and so he's being called the London patient. Mm -hmm. And then, well, we had the Boston patients, right. too. Yeah, right? the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Two, two yeah. Boston patients. Two Boston and the Mississippi baby. Right, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So I guess it's, it, it helps to, to orient yourself in, yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Right. But, we, but we're, we're learning every time we have one of these experiences. Mm -hmm. We learn something, yes. and it may not be a lot. It may be a, may be a lot, but it's important to know uh, and, and build on what we've learned. But yes, we're going to have to definitely have a different way than what you've experienced. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is very unique and very, very special, defined individual right. and, and, uh, that are experiencing those double issues. I think it needs to be said that um, my cure um, and the cure of the, or the um, long-term remission or the remission of the, the London patient mm -hmm. and uh, the other case that's going to be discussed today, the Dusseldorf patient, um, mm -hmm. uh, um, that uh, it's something that is only, it only applies to Caucasian males, or mm -hmm. no, to ca Caucasians, not males. Um, mm -hmm. um, because the mutation which it took uh, to to cure me, it, it only exists in mm -hmm. 1% of Northern Europeans, which is right. a very small number of people. Seems the, the further world. north you are, the more yeah, likely you right. have that. Yes. For whatever reason, I guess that's genetics. Yeah, that's the they, way genetics works. They really works. don't know yeah. exactly why. They, they think it yeah. might have to do with the um, Black Plague. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, 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 right. And so, uh, yeah, so. So yeah, so how uh, you're you're getting on with your life? I keep mm -hmm. on remarking to your friends and 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 my colleagues mm -hmm. whenever we meet and talk that you keep looking better and better, Thank and you. that's all what we can hope. Yeah, that, that's what and, I want. Yeah. But there's a lot of but there's a lot of pressure on you to stay healthy yes, now. Yeah, so definitely. and so you live here in Seattle. No, I live in, uh, in Palm Springs, California. Oh, you live in Palm yeah, Springs. Yeah. I was going to say, do you ever get to take the um, uh, the long walks up the hills there? Uh, uh, I usually don't. Uh, yeah. yeah, I. I I haven't gone out and I'm scared of rattlesnakes, so oh, okay. I don't, don't go out and out in the, the boonies. But the more you move, the better off yes. you are, and I, yeah. I, we want you to ride for a very long Thank time. You. I, I do ride my bike. Oh well, there you go. Yeah. That's a big help. I don't have a car. My, I use my boyfriend's car, and uh, um, if it's not available, I use my bike. I've crossed the country once on a bicycle, oh, really? so maybe wow. maybe I can get you to make it a number two for me and a one for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, can try it. Maybe not. Across the country. Um, <laughs> it's a long ways. How, how many miles was that? It, well, it's longer because the direction I took. Oh, I took yeah. the circuitous oh, route. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, you can't take the freeways on a yeah, bicycle. Yeah, no, you, no, you can't. So, yeah, it's, it's longer than you would imagine. It's just, uh, I, I kind of feel like the guy that first crossed the country on a, on a car. Right. You yeah, know, with yeah. the first one, they had no roads. It was yeah, like right. mud holes and tra trails, Indian trails yes, and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, we're in a different world, and, and I really appreciate the, the work that you've done. I Thank really you. appreciate your candor and your openness with the audiences that are many, as you get to be interviewed by a lot of people. But uh, I consider you a friend, and I, I really consider you um, a valuable piece of history. Thank you very much. That may help us move on to the answers down the line. Thank and you. that's always exciting. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for being Thank here. You. Thank you.